so you've clicked on this video for a reason we're going to talk about a certain someone um i don't normally do videos like this as people that have been subscribed to the channel know but this is i feel this is relevant as my channel sort of based around cars at the minute um so yeah i feel like this needs to be spoke about Around 80% of my viewers on this channel are from the UK, so you'll know that we're in lockdown currently. If you didn't know we're in lockdown, we're in lockdown, you know now. And the lockdown rules are you're only allowed to go out your house if you're a key worker, whether you want, uh, you need to go out and get food and essentials for the house or for yourself, whatever you are, like if you're a parent for your kids, supply for them. Um, and yeah, like I say, if you're a key worker, so you're a nurse or your job just requires you to be there. Other than that, don't go out. So uh, if you're sitting there wondering who are we talking about, someone called Sophie Carpenter. If you're in the car scene, you'll know exactly who it is, especially if you're from the UK. So she's had hate in the past. I mean, most people have had hate, but she's had some hate in the past just for loads of different random stuff. Um mainly through like only fans accounts and all that sort of stuff she gets stick for that saying oh you've only got so many followers on instagram um because of your only fans account it's nothing to do with your cars and all that sort of stuff she just gets hate for that and when i first found out about her um it was through a facebook page through cars and um i just thought it was just a genuine car car girl to be fair so yeah, I was just like, okay, follower, genuine car girl. But the post that she'd put on, I'll put it on screen now. She'd focus. She'd put on that she'd brought a uh, an R thirty four, and people was kicking off about it for that it was all for the right reasons. People was kicking off saying, "Oh, we're in the UK, meant to be in lockdown. Why are you going out and buying cars? Stay at home." Buying an R34 is not essential, and I back that 100%. You should only be going out if it's essential, and buying an R34 is not essential. If you're ordering things online, fair enough. I mean, obviously, you can't order cars online, that sort of stuff. But it's really pissed me off because there's people in this world that are fucking dying and stuff from this virus. Like, so many people every single day. And then it's selfish people like that that just because they can't stay inside they want about it but if i literally don't go down and do my car i will go insane or if they don't if they don't go out they go insane or they just lose their mind it's like it's just selfish like people just going out doing shit like that if you don't have to go out don't go out go out for your exercise all that bollocks if you're a key worker or you're still working whatever you're doing go and do that go and get food shopping essentials do it just don't go out buying fucking R34s when you don't need to. And in her video, you, 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 she states, oh, we wasn't making contact with the person and all that. We, we actually stayed in the van while um, we was getting the car on the truck and all that sort of stuff. It's like, is it fuck? Why, why, let's say you was going to buy a car. You can't judge a car from photos, really. It's not accurate at all. If someone's selling a car on the internet, they are... I mean, like, let's say, like, five times out of ten, they're not going to put the bad things about the car unless it's really important. But things like, I don't know, just little things that are going wrong with the car, they're not going to really say that sort of stuff. I mean, a lot of people don't. So when you go and view it yourself before you buy it, you want to look around the whole car, make sure that what you're paying for is right. And if there is bits that are wrong on it, you know you can fix it or at least get it fixed for a cheaper price. But there is no fucking way that you went to go and get that car and sat in a van the whole time this process was going on. There is no fucking way. The, it's, it's just pissed me off so much because like, I've put on my story that about people being selfish and inconsiderate and stuff, just going out, buying this sort of stuff, doing these sort of things. Um, and she actually blocked me um, for literally proving a point. So she also, in the video, states the fact that... Uh, People was kicking off at her just because she's buying a car which someone else has got. I know a lot of people are probably going to kick off about this video, but after the night I've just had, 
I literally could not give a single. It doesn't matter. He's got an R34, which it's it's the same car, but obviously they're going to have completely different things to them. I mean, they're, they're going to look the same in some aspects because it's the same fucking car, it's the same model, uh, but things like alloys and like coilovers and all that sort of shit, that's, that's all going to be different. But people like on our Instagram, a lot of them are joking about it, saying, oh, you got, you got the same car, <laughs> but she likes to change people's perspective and put it into her own way, so she makes someone having a joke turn into something serious. Well, it's it's just, it's frustrating. Like, what, what else can I say, it's frustrating. She's inconsiderate, I don't like her at all. I know her from social media. Um, but yeah, it's it's really pissed me off to be honest. And like I said, go out if it's essential. Buying an R34 is not fucking essential. Like, everyone's struggling at this time. There's families that, like, you, you know how it is. There's families struggling. People can't go out themselves. People are, like, self-isolating. They can't even leave their front door. And she can leave her front door. She can go and exercise if she wants or go to work or whatever the fuck she does. But she chooses to completely ignore that and go and buy an R34. Like, what? What the? What the? F I don't. What? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Banging brew. Cheers, mum. And uh, yeah, so what she done? Completely illegal. Like I, I wish I was exaggerating. It's illegal what she's done. It's against the law. Sounds stupid because obviously we've been to we've been used to not having these laws of just going out, basically being free, doing what we want. But it is a law. Like, the police have enforced this law, and the government has enforced this law. You need to obey it. A man, I think it was this morning or yesterday, um, he actually got arrested for going to pick up a, a motorbike. He come from, I think he was he was from around here, around Birmingham, and he went, I can't remember where he went, he went to like Bristol, Pe Pembrokeshire, I think, somewhere like that, uh, to go and pick up a bike, and he got arrested and fined. So, I hope that, I hope that was her. Like, it should have been her. Because it's stupid people like that which should get it. So, and uh, just to end on a bit of a... I don't actually know what, what sort of a note we ended on. She put up a, an Instagram photo, which I'm going to put on the screen in a minute, saying, for anyone who didn't see my live stream, and who gives a fuck, um, I want to apologise for the past couple of days. I see now that going out buying a car during lockdown was probably not the best idea. I completely understand why I upset everyone so much and I'm so sorry for that. You're not fucking sorry because you wouldn't have fucking done it in the first place. You know what you've done was illegal. So what was the point going out and doing it in the first place? So that again, that photo is just completely for fucking attention. I also see how my video come across the way it did. I am in no way excusing what I did, but as long as people see that I recognise my mistakes, that's what matters. Hence why I'm not complaining about any anything anyone has to say stay safe everyone she's saying stay safe everyone like as if she's staying at home she's fucking not she's the one putting people at risk for going out like again it comes back to the the whole statement about buying a fucking car or like not even a car let's say you're say you're watching my channel you're not even into cars i don't know why you're watching the channel then but let's say you watch you're watching the channel you're not into cars let's say an xbox controller okay let's go Let's say this was on eBay for, I don't know, 25 quid, which these controllers, they're about uh, they're about 60 quid, brand new. So you see it for 25 quid, yeah, it looks mint condition, but you're going to question it. You're going to think in your head, oh, why is it so cheap? What's wrong with it? Is is he generally like just wanting to get rid of it or what? You're going to want to go and have a look. Like, you're going to want to go to the person's house, have a look at it, like, you know, sort of check it around, make sure all the buttons work, that sort of shit. It's like you don't just fucking rock up to someone's house. You see the car and you're like, oh, still sitting in the van by the way, because obviously she didn't get out of the van. And then you're like, oh yeah, yeah, it looks good for me. Yeah, yeah that's sound, yeah, I have the money, take my money and I'll just, yeah, put the car on the van, we'll go. It don't fucking work like that. It's the same with everything, no matter what you fucking buy. You want to check it before you give someone that money. Cars are like the worst thing because cause they cost so much money. People don't want to just pay that much money just to find out oh, it's fucked like a month later. Yeah, it's fucking pissed me off. Like, it's, it, it really, it's really pissed me off.
like when I seen her first post, I was fucking, I was so fuming. Scrolling through her Instagram comments on the latest post, there's a lot of people saying, leave her alone, let her do her thing, this is what she's all about, she's into cars, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I get that, yeah, she's into cars, this is, this is what she wants to do. But she's not the only one that's fucking suffering from this. There's so many people in this world that have got to stay in, that can't go out and do what they want to do, that sort of shit. But she's fucking special, is she? What What is she? She's allowed to just go out and do that, is she? Like, she doesn't have a right to go out and start doing that shit. I know that you're going to be saying, oh, there's millions of people in this world, what does it matter if one person's gone out to buy a car? With the... With the follow base that she's got, she's got like 25,000 followers or whatever. If she, She's meant to be setting some sort of example. And at the minute, she's just sort of setting an example like, Oh yeah, I can still go out and buy cars. Why, why aren't you lot doing it? Because we're all in fucking lockdown. That's why we're, we're obeying the law, the new law. That's fucking why. So she should be obeying this law as well, but she's not. So, yeah. It's a fucking stressful one. It's really, it's actually fucking pissed me off. I know I keep saying this. But... Thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Use code Ashley10 for 10% off at www.drinkrafe.com. I had to think about that one. I forgot whether it's rafe drink. Then. Anyway, see you in the next video. Peace. Brown sugar never been so sweet, but vanilla ice cream is my favorite dish. Black of the berry, the sweet or the drip. Make a cheesecake last bit, we can split it. Why you care what my pigment is? Tell me down, I was progressing. Reminded me.